What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ruse Reviews and today we are chatting about Thy Will Be Done by the 1914 and Alexander Marsh. So, let's get into this. Okay, so before I start, I know it's been a little while since my last review and I want to apologise for that, but things have started to open up in the UK, which means I'm going back to working in-person events again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know, it's a very strange, crazy feeling, but that means I'm also able to go and test drive these effects in the real world again for you guys. So, what is Thy Will Be Done? Well, this is an effect by, as I say, Alexander Marsh in conjunction with the 1914, which is a the brainchild of D. Christopher and his business partner. Um, and this effect is essentially a free will type plot. Now, those of you that know me and know this channel know that I am a big mentalism fan. I perform mentalism a lot. And I was super excited when this got released. Um, the idea of the free will plot is something that plagues me almost every day because I love it so much and any variation of it, I, I just go out and get, I go out and try. Um, I used to do so many versions over the years and this makes the free will plot super easy and relevant and cool for your spectators. What you're essentially getting with this effect is a custom made tarot card and poker size playing card of the magician. I'm going to show it to you now quickly. These are the two cards that you get. I hope you guys can see that on camera. I'm trying to focus in a little bit, but this is what it looks like on the back, and these are what they look like on the front. Now, they've literally thought of everything when designing this card. Um, the actual design itself is stunning, and we'll go into that in a little bit, but obviously having the option to be able to do this effect with a poker size card, which neatly and handily fits into your shadow wallet, I might add. If you haven't seen the shadow wallet, check my other reviews, and indeed pick one up from the 1914, because they are a stunning piece of work. But the design itself really is a beautiful, beautiful thing to behold and have on you. Um, you don't feel weird bringing these out. If any of you mentalists out there perform with tarot cards, you will know and be familiar with the Magician design, which is a uh, which is based on the original um, Rider Waite tarot design. Uh, the back itself is really, really cool. It gives you the props that you use in the free will, which is the um, the watch, the pen, and uh, the coin. Um, you guys can see that there. And like I say, all you need are those three things, a watch, a pen, and a coin, and you are able to go into this fantastic routine. What's great is that now you've got the watch, the coin, and the pen in play, you can then go on to other routines using those items, whether it be a witch hand with the coin, or something with the pen, uh, or anything like that, maybe another time reveal with a watch, whatever you like. Um, but there is some other stuff that is built into this design as well, like the force time. So you can have a force time, which you can see here um, on the watch itself. And you also have another force time, which is on the back here of, of the watch, which is the pocket watch design. You also have a date force that you can do for the coin that's on the back here. Uh, there's also um, the infinity symbol, which is above the magician's head here, which is a, a, a number eight. And there's also, um, something built in, well, I guess it's part of the original design as well, but the red roses around the outside. If you are aware of Banachek's red rose force, I think it's Banachek's, um, then you know how you can then use this card to your advantage. Um, but as I say, the two sizes of this card make this effect super practical. They've thought of everything giving you both sizes because this card now stays in my shadow wallet and this card comes with me to parlor shows and I love doing this or even at a table. If you're doing a large table, you can hold this up and people can see all the detail on the card as well. Uh, really, really beautifully crafted gimmick which will stand the test of time and it, like with anything, it is a playing card so once it's gone through the mill a bit, it probably will perish at some point but I can't see that happening anytime soon. 
The stock on these cards as well is really nice. It feels really durable. It's almost like a, a linen or a air cushion finish like you would have with a tally ho or bicycle playing cards. Um, it's almost like the uh, feel that they got with the Razor Wallet designed cards, um, but obviously a lot thicker. These are fully thick playing card stock. Um, but with that in mind, I should also point out whilst we're here that they are also bringing out the 1914. Uh, their new Providence playing cards. Look at this. Look at this. Let me get this in focus here. This is the new Providence deck of playing cards, uh, which really is a stunning piece of artwork. Um, these should be out for release soon, but they sent me a couple of packets courtesy with this effect. And um, yeah, I am absolutely blown away by these. I've already opened one. There's an unboxing video, which is on my Instagram channel which I've sort of linked below so you can see what the cards look like but yeah really worth picking up these little beauties and they are they sort of feel like a bit of a collector's item I don't even want to open this packet yet but yeah go and check these out the packaging that comes with this effect as well looks like this really beautiful gold embossed packaging really stunning nice simple clean design with uh, the cards inside I can't show you this bit here because that is the password but the cards are in this little bit but look at that design really really beautiful I love everything that this company brings out because the aesthetic they know how things should look you know there's a certain feeling when you get this design even the actual cardboard itself I'm not sure if I can get that close up you can sort of see there's sort of roses embossed into the card as well as the gold um, but yeah really really beautifully thought out packaging that will help protect your gimmick so I tend to keep these in here when I'm not using them as well the tutorial itself is about 36 minutes in length and is taught in its entirety by Alexander Marsh. There is also a really cool performance that he does over the table to Lewis Laval included. Um, but yeah, Alex is a great mentalist. I hadn't seen much of his work before, but I know he has released other stuff with the 1914 and that's worth checking out as well on their website. Um, but it's a really nice, clear, 36 minutes, super short, well not super short, but enough for you to know what you need to do. You learn how to handle the effect, uh, you learn some equivoque, uh, which you know a lot of mentalists sort of get put off by um, equivoque because it's usually done badly, but Alex teaches this in a really nice, clean way. You also learn the other forces that are on the cards and he goes into other details about that as well. And also what you can do with the props after they've been brought into play as well. You can, of course, borrow these items, but I tend to have a watch, a pen and a coin on me anyway. But how cool is it to be able to borrow those props from somebody? You don't have to touch those props at any point. Well, maybe one point, but that is still hands off is what I mean. They can borrow the props. You can do what you want with them, um, but they are essentially theirs and everything sort of happens with their items. So there we go, guys. A super quick review. Uh, I don't know how long the camera's been running for, but uh, I just wanted to kick back in with a nice little piece of mentalism. Super easy, super handy to have on you. Uh, really, really great price point on this. And I think, you know, just having one of these cards on you, as I say, I keep the playing card in my shadow wallet really easy it just stays in there and if i want to be able to do a free will effect anytime i can do it with that card in my pocket so get out there things are opening up again go and perform grab yourself thy will be done and also grab yourself one of these providence decks when they get released i know these will fly off the shelf like hotcakes and i will see you all very soon in the next review ciao